brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemevo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path Brothers and sisters in Christ, our Gospel today is taken from the Gospel uh, according to Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, Do you suppose these Galileans who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galileans? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen on whom the tower at Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, Look here, for three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground? Sir, the man replied, Leave it one more year, and give me time to dig round it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, many people have died in a tragic ways. Corona is just to name one uh, of the many ways that uh, uh, death may end up uh, in a very, very uh, unpleasant uh, ways that it might look like it's a curse. And yet Jesus said that these are not the signs that people are more guilty and more deserving than others. In fact, he said, unless we repent, we will perish in that same way. And how tragic would that be? So, it's interesting that uh, at the same time Jesus speaks about this parable of a fig tree in the middle of a vineyard. It's out of place. You don't have a fig tree in the middle of a vineyard and looking for uh, to find some fruit in there. And uh, it's been three years, right? And it's not bearing fruit, but the man um, said that we'll give it one more year. And it may be in some ways like us as well. Uh, we may be walking in the journey uh, of faith for a number of years. And we may feel like we're not growing. And oh, well, I might as well give up this journey. It's been three years. I've been following Jesus three years, just like the disciples. I've been following Jesus for three years. And yet, they may not bear the fruit that they would like to have. That, you know, let's face it, at the foot of the cross, there's hardly anyone there, right? They didn't have all the fruit of perseverance and being faithful to Jesus. So, there's this one story. Uh, and Peter, we know, he holds the, the, uh, he, he's the, he, he hold the keys to the, the the gate in heaven and at the end of time all the faithful ones all God's chosen people they all have come in and he was just about to close the door and he saw Jesus there and he wondered 
Jesus, why are you still here? You know, it's time. We, uh, it's the end of time. Well, what are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? And Jesus replied, well, I'm waiting for Judas. God's mercy and God's patience, it's beyond measure, beyond uh, the sense of time that we have. We may not be as near as patient as God is. So these persons might be even ourselves that we might say, oh, well, it's, it's too long, I'm giving this practice up, I'm not doing it anymore, and yet God, plead, God pleads with us to wait one more year. God will dig it and put manure on it and help us to bear fruit. Even we are like from the outside, we might look terrible, right? We are out of place like a fig tree in the middle of a vineyard. But God is so patient. He, um, he holds us as the apple of His eyes. We are precious before Him and He will do everything to make sure that we will bear the fruit. But what kind of fruit? Well, the fruit that God is waiting is the fruit of repentance. Why? Well, because when we repent, when we ask God's forgiveness, when we realize the depth of our sinfulness, we give glory to God. And God is glorified in the utmost way when His mercy is at the forefront, when He can give His boundless mercy to us. He's waiting for us like the, the, the uh, like in the vineyard, even when, when it's already run out of time. So we too want to be patient and the fruit of repentance, uh, when it comes, it will bear much fruit and it will give glory to the mercy of God and to um, all the people who long to taste the fruit of repentance, the fruit the sweetness of God's mercy for us. May His name, whose mercy be ever glorified.